All right. Hey guys, folks. Okay, so three, uh, three in the afternoon. Um, so I look up. The clouds are getting dark. Things are getting cold. The winds are picking up slowly, but fast and fast. Boy, it was windy. I tell you, windy. And then all of a sudden. The rain came. Oh man. Lightning strikes. Thundering roaring. As I'm walking through the fields of thunder. <laughs> For real. And uh, it was really crazy. <coughs> it's crazy. Because uh, no one pulled over. No one... Then uh, be like, oh man, look at that guy. He's uh, he's walking. Um, he's uh, walking in the rain. <laughs> so um, yeah, thundering lightning strikes. Luckily, I was wearing swim trunks. Thank you. All right. So um, and sent slides. So I had slides, swim trunks, and a shirt. So it's like I'm swimming in the cold water. It would rain about an hour. And then it stopped. Then it rained again for another 30 minutes. And then it stopped. It was a 10 minute break. And then it finally stopped. So, um. It's. Okay, so now I'm walking through this thing called the nature forest. It's this big old road. Before I got there, I stopped at this bar. There's this bar before you enter, going back towards Palaka. So, I'm, I walk into this bar, and everyone's just staring at me. They're like, whoa, this guy looks like a lobster. He is red, this guy. This guy, he needs, he needs to go home. He, what is he doing here? Blah, blah, blah. Stare at me. I ask. I ask. Oh, can I get some water real quick? Um, she's like, no. I'm afraid I can't give you water. And some people are questioning, why are you not giving water or anything? Because he needs to pay for it. He has to be a customer. Or he only gets something out of this restaurant. <coughs> so, um, yeah. So, I walked out. I asked for directions how to get back to Black. How to get to Gainesville. I need to go. Like, I'm walking. I can't walk from Daytona and I'm right here. And everyone was amazed on their face reaction. Oh, I became the sound of that bar that night. Oh, man. Trust me. People pointing fingers and like, whoa, he walked from Daytona all the way here. Like, this is the, this is the town after you get out of black of going towards the beaches and stuff. Everything going towards Daytona or St. Augustine. Whatever. Most likely Daytona. Whatever. So here I am. I walk out of the bar because I uh, felt really uncomfortable. And it was really uh, awkward. So I got out of the bar and continued to walk the direction so I could go straight. Go straight, go straight. Oh man, it was the straightest road. Oh, it was so, so long. Um, it got dark. So now it's around 10 o'clock at night. Around 10 to 11 o'clock. And I'm in the heart of this forest. I'm in the heart. I'm hearing snakes. 
the slithering. rattles and everything like I heard all of that and oh believe me I heard some other creatures too uh, like coyotes dogs wild dogs oh man um cows like there were some bulls like there were some crazy animals like out and about and foxes and Owls and oh man, it was it was scary. <sighs> so I kept on walking. <sighs> if I tell myself if I stop right here, I'm dead. This is where the fear kind of kicked in a little bit. I'm still walking. It's about twelve thirty. I'm walking. Still, from 5 in the morning to 12 in the morning now. Continue walk. True story. So, this is where things get really crazy. So, as I'm walking, my legs are starting finally to give out on me. I kept going. I was literally crawling <laughs> as cars were going by me and this is around one o'clock in the morning now one two in the morning pretty much almost 24 hours of nothing but continue walking and walking and walking boy my leg was buckled oh boy so luckily um so what i started doing is pretending to like start to faint because I was desperate for a ride at this point. I uh, I wanted a ride. I wanted to get out of there. It was danger. It was I had to do something to get me out of there, and I did anything I could. First thing I did when I saw a car, every time I did, was to act like to fall down on my legs. Like, uh, like fall down and just stand there for a little bit. Like, take a knee, almost. Acting like I'm hurt or something. Just take a knee. Finally, someone reports a, a police officer comes. I was like, oh, police officer of all times come. He goes like this. Sir, you uh, you been drinking tonight? I'm like, no, sir. I'm looking for some water though. I need something to drink. And he's like, all right, well, where are you coming from? I'm like, from Daytona Beach. He he looked at me, and he looked down, and then he's like, wait, what? Wait, Daytona? You walked all the way from? Wait, Daytona? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty. he's like, I believe it, I can see it. Like, you're redder than the lobster. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm just, can you, I asked, can you please give me a ride to, like, the nearest gas station or a store or somewhere out of this area? He's like, well, I'm not supposed to do that because uh, I'm on 30 and all that. And I have to ask my, uh, my deputy, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, well, can you go ask him real quick? Because um, I'm really tired. And it's almost been 24 hours of me just walking straight from Daytona. And I have done nothing wrong just trying to get home back to me. <laughs> and um, the guy's like, all right, hold on, let me see. And he dials it in, and then he drops me off to the nearest gas station. He says, have a good night, be safe, uh, stay out of trouble, and blah, blah, blah. He took off and he went back on duty. So, meanwhile, um, thank you again, police officer, uh, that helped me out. And this is where the story gets really cool. So, this is where things lights up a little bit. The rough part is finally almost done here. I get to the gas station. 
I go inside. There's two workers. There's a female and an older grandpa male guy working there. <clears throat> and uh, if this dude is still there, uh, thank you again for the $10 and the two sandwiches. So, um, he, uh, he, so I went inside, I asked to get some water, and, um, the guy saw me getting out of the police officer car, and he knows that I wasn't really in trouble, but the lady thought I was, like, bad news. And I told the guy my, my situation and stuff, and everyone should know by now what it was, and again, I apologize. But, uh, Luckily, everything was, uh, everything, 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 you know, so, anyways, back to the point, I went in there, went to the gas station, um, I asked for some water, the guy, like, yeah, you can get us some water, and, matter of fact, grab yourself two burgers, and, and come here, so I was like, okay, so I went over there, and, uh, he noticed that my phone was dying, and I asked for a charger. He let me use the charger real quick. He told me to go sit by the outlet outside, so that's what I did. While well, there's a wolf spider, uh, like being around me and everything, I'm trying to I'm dozing off and stuff. And now it's around five o'clock when the guy gets off, so my phone's charged up. Forty percent, and uh, the guy like, all right. What I'm gonna do is give you a ride to the next town to Black Oak. It's only two miles away, so <clears throat> be lucky because I only live in between this town and that town anyway. So it's only five minutes from where I live. So I was like, okay, cool. A ten minute drive into uh, Black. So I was like, okay, cool. <clears throat> This guy took me all the way through Palaka towards the other side of where I needed to go. Before I got out, he goes, here's $10, be safe. Let's keep going down this road and someone, you know, eventually we'll get a ride today. You're going to get a ride today no matter what. So let's keep walking down this road and um, stay out of trouble. And um, don't do that again, you idiot. <laughs> So, I was like, yeah, yes, sir, and thank you again. And, um, so, I started walking again, guys, and here I am. Um, I'm in Palaka, now I'm going out of Palaka, and I am now into Interlaken. Oh, I'm, wow, I actually walked. To interlocking. Okay, cool. Well, interlocking. Now I'm in interlocking. Alright. Now I get her a phone call. My phone's charged. My belly's full. I got $10. I got an extra burger. And I still have some water. And I started with nothing. And I have, <laughs> and I ended with 10 bucks and an extra burger. So, yeah, that tells you something right there, folks. Um, don't give up. Because uh, cause this is where things get really crazy. Get a phone call. Ring, ring. Oh, hi. Um, I'm like, Five minutes away from you. Um, you, you need a ride? Yep. Boom. Got a ride back to town. And, uh, that's my way how I got home. On my way home. And, uh, yeah. Pretty crazy. Uh, stay out of trouble, but the moral of the story is stay positive and don't give up. Whatever you do, guys. Keep trying. Because, uh, something's gonna happen. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, next podcast. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a special guest. If not, uh, we'll do 